Hello again, how's everybody doing? Back for our fourth and final review of the night. Now, I just wrapped up half of the 450 North series, uh, the two slushies, and of course the milkshake IPA. And I gotta tell you, I'm being completely honest, I love 450, high 450. They're, that was nowhere near, again, the IPAs I've not drank. Those three, they were nowhere near as, as what I was thinking. I'm not saying they were all, I think two of the three were really good. I did not like the third one. I'll be blunt and honest with that. Uh, the slushies were very, very good. Uh, the milkshake IPA was not good, in my opinion. A lot of people like it, but but uh, they did a lot more hype around that uh, corn maze release, which is awesome, promoting. I'm not saying these beers were bad. The IPAs will still be green. I think they will be, but let's dive away from 450 and head due south from a company I tried last night for the first time. That's right, baby. We're back at the MotorWorks Brewing Company, Bradenton, Florida. MotorWorks Brewing Company. This is their Midnight Espresso. It is a coffee porter. Uh... Look at that cool train, the motor there. I tell you what, uh, it's getting good reviews, 3.88. Very respectable coffee porter. Uh, and I was very impressed with both those beers last night, especially the, uh, what the hell was the first one? The Pulp Fricks, and that was really, really, really good. I I think I rated it just a 4, but that's it. I think I can go back and check that, and it was closer to a 4, you know, 4.1, something like that, but really good. This beer here says, using coffee beans hand-roasted at Motorworks Brewing, a darker roast on Sumatra beans imparts toasted flavors, while a slightly lighter roast on Sawasi beans provides fruity undertones. Strong chocolate and coffee notes in its aroma and taste derived from dark caramel and chocolate malts in a slight sweet finish round out this medium-bodied porter. Now, 6.5% the uh, alcohol on this, 65 Now, one thing I was telling you, 450 does not take their cans. And I, I don't like that. I, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna not drink a beer, a brewery because of that, but. Come on, you know, we said it before. This here was canned on uh, June 15th, so borrow time on this one July, August, September. Four months, but a porter could last six months to a year, so we're well within that range. Uh, generally, they say about six to nine months on a porter, and uh, we're not even at five, so I think we're really good on this. But uh, yeah, so let's crack it open and get into a can. Midnight Espresso Coffee Porter. I'll tell you what, like I said yesterday, I was very impressed, and, and gotta thank the great Devin and, and of course, uh, Dougie Leopard for. Getting single cans, you know, I love to try these and I'll pay for them, but I just, this was three bucks. It is a 16 ounce can. Just really tough to buy a four pack of something like that last part of strength, that fresh fruit cherry. And what are you going to do? You know, most people, you know, what are you gonna do? you're going to, I would not drink more than one of those. And I would stomach that one down on the chug. It just, you know, that's 22 bucks. A single can is three or four bucks. I'll pay the three bucks, but let's get this pour on this. Motorworks Brewing Midnight Espresso Coffee Porter. Of course, a dark brown color, typical porter color. Yeah, right out of the can there. It's nice. Uh, you can tilt that glass there. And you watch while I pour. Get it in there. And we'll see how it ends up turning out. If we get some hay. Let's get an aroma. Ah, malts. D dark malts. First thing I get is roasted malts, chocolate. Uh, Ironically enough, I don't get a lot of like straight coffee. I get like some coffee bean flavor. Almost like you smell the beans of the coffee, but it doesn't really smell like actual coffee. Does that make if that makes sense? I, don't, I know it's kind of an odd way of, of fitting this. But uh, yeah, 3.88, pretty solid. Uh, like I said, I was impressed yesterday with these beers. Uh, you know, that uh, it was very, very good. Uh, very, very tasty indeed. So here's the. Uh, Here's the pour, and uh, let's let's uh, again thank the brewers there at uh, Bradenton. It was on their website that a very interesting people, old guy and his wife. They bought an old uh, motor sales, uh, it was like a car lot, turned it into a brewery. I hence the name Motorworks. I think very very cool name behind that 1950s body shop or shop that was selling cars and kind of just went under, I guess. And old man and his wife down there ended up buying the brewery, and they looked like really cool people. So thank Deb, thank Devin, and. Uh, Happy Halloween Eve, and uh, stay dry, man. The big flood coming. Two to four inches. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe an inch. These weather terrorists, I tell you. Cheers, guys. Oh, wow. A good porter. Thin, but a good porter. Uh, you really get... That almost tastes... That coffee flavor right now is excellent. Deep roast. I mean, that tastes like roasted coffee finish is excellent. 
it's kind of thin up front you know the, the chocolate malts roasted malts but it really thins out the, the, the finish on this beer is phenomenal very impressive it's, it's just coffee roast it's, it's like the coffee roast is sitting on your palate just going down the finish is great i like this beer uh that's why I thought Tap needs these quarter increment mark because I'm, I'm going to say at least a 3.75, but it's rating 3.8 overall. It's probably where it should be, but can you rate that? It's, it's a really good beer. The finish is excellent. A little, little thin up front, but I like the finish, and that's kind of what to me, you know, a lot of people are turned up on that initial taste. The finish to me is what kind of counts in a beer because that's how you get it in the intake, and a pretty good, a pretty good, uh, pretty good finish on this. See, thin up front, roasted malts. Oh my god, that coffee finish. I mean, it's like drinking this premium roast espresso. You know, Sumatra coffee is one of the best kinds of coffee. I'm not, I'm not a, I drink coffee, but I'm not into like the beans and all that roasting. The founders that are with Sumatra coffee, Sumatra brown. So, Sumatra must be a hit for the coffee world. But, uh, very good porter, folks. I think, uh, not the best coffee porter I've had by any means. But, certainly, you know... Above average, I would think 375 pushing four, probably lean towards a 375 on this. Kind of want to change my rating scale because you're right. I mean, low spears, you're rating them a four to out of five, they're pretty kick ass. So, 375 still a good score, and that's probably where I'm gonna be on this. So, yeah, this is the final review of the night. I'm getting a little buzzed up here. Midnight Espresso Coffee Porter Brainworks Brewing Company, uh, 6.5 percent. Check these guys out if you're if you haven't had anything from them, they're pretty impressive. Uh, like I said, the two beers last night I really enjoyed. and this was a decent beer as well, so I think, uh, check them out. I, I liked all three of them. Uh, the, uh, fuck, Pulp Friction was the best of the three, for my opinion. This is still the second best. I mean, it beats the regular IPA. But, uh, yeah, decent beer. So, I'm gonna wrap it up tonight, folks. Uh, cheers, everybody, and, uh, we'll see you guys soon. And, again, stay dry out there. The weather terrorists. See you guys.